Hi guys, this is Gwendy85 and I am here to give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what goes on behind the scenes of Raylo Animated, uh, the series of animated shorts that um, a series of animated shorts that I am uh, animating all by myself. I do all the drawings, I do the backgrounds, the colors. Um, I also do post-production, meaning adding effects, um, color correction, and whatnot. Uh, also adding um, music whenever possible. And right now what we're doing is trying to find uh, or trying to do a walk cycle for Ray. I already have a walk cycle for her, but I'm not really satisfied with it. Because as you can see, she has a bit of a swagger to her. Uh, that doesn't really feel like Ray to me like mostly because the reference that I used for this one is of a guy so not exactly a feminine type walking um, and yeah I, I'm just not happy with it although it's a full body animation so pretty much what I did um, I'm I actually went ahead and uh, created a new um, animation uh, this time with no references um, I I'm not a I'm not a professional animator uh, I also suck at anatomy and how it works um, but I did try to at least uh, make uh, her move more uh, not exactly naturally but at least made her um, at, I at least made her uh, walk a little bit more feminine just like so uh, at least her you know her chest is moving side to side her body's moving side to side you can see a bit of her uh, legs moving front to back, front to back. Her arms are moving front to back, front to back. You know, moving like she's really walking. So what I do next for this one is... Uh, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to use this because that's going to be like... A, 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 that's going to be like a hell of a lot longer. It's going to take some time. I, I'm actually just... I'm still learning how to use this software. I mean, I've always used Clip Studio Paint. I absolutely adore this software. I use it for work, uh, for my work as a freelance cartoonist and comic book artist. And right now, apparently, I can animate with it. So I'm using it to its fullest potential, I hope. And um, right now, we're going to start uh, coloring the frames. Uh, that's what I do um, aside from the sketch I color it I color each individual frames so I go from uh, one frame to the next to color several drawings and this is in the style of galaxies of galaxy of adventures if uh, you guys don't know that yet so there are no line art no, no line arts that I need to worry about which I guess makes my job a lot easier uh, although it is very very time consuming but it would have been a lot more time consuming if there were there was line art and there would be less consistency I suppose because of the thickness and you know the way the lines move uh, I suppose I can go ahead and do what other studios are doing which is to make uh, ready-made uh, models so they all actually already have uh, assets like they have this full body and then they have a separate layer for the head the arms the hands so all they need to do is just move the parts that need to be moved and they don't have to draw frame by frame um, that's not what I do I actually do frame by frame animation mostly because I I'm not a professional animator. I don't know. I, I have an idea of what it is certain studios do, but I really do not know how to do it myself. And um, 
I do since I work as a comic book artist, so I do sequential images. So I I have an idea about how to do animation. So I'm just doing my own thing, and uh, hopefully it'll work. And right now, after I'm done coloring the body, I already made I ha made this head. So as you can see, the head is a different uh, different clip, a different layer. So I can put it on the body, and at the same time, if you can see her little hair moving. That's why I had to separate the head from the body so I can move that hair uh, because if I, um, if I go ahead and just attach the body and the head all at once, it's going to be a lot harder for me. Uh, well, at least that's how I think of it. Anyway, uh, thank you so much guys for watching this and I hope you enjoy what I have to offer in the future. Meanwhile, if you guys would like to support me, you can do so by going to my Patreon at patreon.com slash 85 There are four tiers. Tiers? There's, um, is that how you <laughs> pronounce it? Now, there are four tiers. That's Youngling, Padawan, Jedi, and Master. And um, you, for Youngling, that starts at a dollar. And for that, you can already have access to the work in progress for Raylo animated um, some patreon patreon only uh, posts and if you want early access to episodes uh, it starts at the padawan stage which is for five dollars a month and again uh, your support means a lot to me i am taking on this project all by myself as i mentioned um, so a little help really goes a long, long way into uh, helping me create these episodes and helping keep the lights on. And thank you again for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video.